Hello, Domination, and see, I keep doing that fucking neck thing. Anyway, and today we are talking about if Fendom isn't for you. That's it. It might not be for everybody. So if it ain't for you, or if you think it's for you, you might find out it's not. Wrote an intro. Nothing in this world that I like more than checks. Money. All I really want to see is the money. I don't really need a D, I need the money. All a bad bitch need is the money. Whoa. I got pants in the coop. A lot of new doms that come in see this thing called Fendom. And a lot of new doms want to be a Fendom. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Like, Fendoms get paid. However, Fendom ain't for you. If you don't want to do no work. Um, to be a Fendom, it's a lot of work. And if you haven't been in the community a long time and you haven't been a Fendom before and you don't know anyone that's a Fendom, you may not know this, but it is a full-time job. So if you got a full-time job, also know. You need to be working outside of your full-time job. Now, granted, it doesn't mean you need to work eight hours a day, but you do need to work a few hours a day to become a good Fendom. You need to do a lot of research on what Fendoms are and how to become one and how they conduct themselves and the things that they do. And when I say they, I mean a Fendom in general. I don't necessarily mean other doms that you see on Twitter now. If you can make a connection with these doms, great. Do that. Learn from them. You know, ask them questions. Like, befriend them. Be genuine. But being a fin dom ain't for you. One, if you're not trying to do no work. Two, being a fin dom ain't for you if you honestly are not really into fetish stuff. Uh, for the most part, being a fendom is really just being rude to subs, but however, when you do get that cave pig, that cash cow, that human ATM sub, he might want you to do certain things for him to give you this money that you're not used to. He may want all videos from you in the middle of the night. Um which means you're going to have to change your schedule. If you're, He might want them for, from you early in the morning, 6, 7 o'clock in the morning. He might want them from you in the afternoon. If your work schedule doesn't like mesh with that, that could be a problem for what you're trying to do. And just have to remember, like when you're doing this, it does leak into your vanilla life. Um, being a Fendom isn't for you. As I said in my top 10 video, of the misconceptions of being a fendom if you don't want it to, like if you don't want to be found out as a fendom because in the traditional sense of things being a fendom is a dominatrix that takes large sums of money from subs now granted they can be smaller um however like the fendom that everyone wants to be i'm pretty sure it's the girl that is getting 10 grand from a sub. You have to remember, they are not going to send this to you every day, every week, every month. You might get 10 grand one time after you've been talking to this sub for months, maybe a year, maybe more. Fendom isn't for you if you're not in it for the long haul. If you want to download your Twitter today and get 8 grand by next week, being a fendom ain't for you because nine times out of ten, that's not going to happen. Uh, yeah. That's pretty much it. Like, if you don't want to work, you're looking for fast, fast money, like, within the week. Um, if you're not trying to change your schedule slash lifestyle, vanilla lifestyle for this, being a fendom honestly just isn't for you and i'm not saying don't try and do it i'm just saying really know what you're getting yourself into when you want to become a fendom when you say you're a fendom and you've been doing it for two three months and you ain't got no money how much work are you putting in how much have you changed your schedule 
uh, how much, how accepting are you to the fetishes that these guys are saying that they want from you? Um, or girls also. Remember, there are sub women. There are plenty of sub women. Like, there are sub gays, sub lesbians, sub heteros, sub trans, sub uh, pan. Like, there's sub everything. So remember that this isn't just for like hetero women looking for hetero male subs. This is for everybody. If you want to be a fendom, no matter what your orientation is, it all applies. How much work do you want to do? If you don't want to do no work, get out. Uh, if you don't want to do any work at all to be a dom, honestly, it ain't for you. But especially a fendom. I feel like being a fendom is a lot harder than just being a dom. Because you're here specifically for the money. That's it. If you don't have fun doing this, if you don't want to put no work in, I would choose something different, personally. Other than that, have fun doing it. Like, comment below. Tell me if you have become a successful or semi-successful fandom and all the work that you put in and how many hours and how long it took. Tell me if you're just starting and you were wondering why you weren't getting no money. Talk to me about that. I've seen plenty of doms. I myself have done it and was like, I ain't really getting paid. Like, what's going on? What's wrong at some point? Like this video if you like it. Don't fucking like it if you don't fucking like it. Shit, don't press no buttons if you don't want to. That's cool. Subscribe, share. Make sure you do that though. Like, you don't have to press like or dislike, but subscribe to this channel. Please. Thanks. Love you for it. Um, share the video. Share my channel. Hit me up on Instagram. Let me know if I haven't hit anything on the subject that you want to talk about. And I will see you on the next episode of Dom Diaries. Bye.